All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can make it so that every hour that goes by, all 100 people involved come closer to death. It's The Sims 4. Right over here, you can see that Spleens spies something with her little eye. Do you know what it is? Agony. The same plot of land that has repeatedly brought torture and misfortune to my Sims will continue to do so today as I recreate one of those classic environments that happen all the time in Minecraft videos now. You know the thing where it's like <laughs> Minecraft, but every minute this happens, that's gonna happen here except with The Sims. It's not gonna be every minute, it's gonna be every hour because if it was every minute, everyone would be dead in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> You'll notice right over here that LSD is preparing to do a swan dive in order to end it all. And that is very appropriate because today we're going to be dealing with the most allergic substance known to mankind that causes imminent death in every single sim that comes in contact with it. It's water. I don't know why. Water is basically like blue lava. In The Sims 4, whenever a sim touches water, they inevitably die a short time afterward. And so today we're going to have a house and it's going to be surrounded by water. However, every in-game hour that goes by, I'm going to shrink the size of the house and increase the size of the moat of water. We will add 100 sims and find out which sim will reign supreme as the ruler. Once again, you can always tell a veteran of this game from a newbie because Florida man is like, hey, how you doing? And D minus is like, I'm not dead yet, unfortunately. I just realized too that Florida man's hand is penetrating her entire body and is exiting out of her right breast. I don't know if that is inappropriate or just medically freaky. And yes, Australian man is already burnt to a crisp. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, he, he manages to do that within the first 10 minutes of every episode anyway. Okay, so first things first is we have to build an appropriate living quarter over here for 100 potential sims that we will slowly shrink over time. I actually am going to make this four stories because they need plenty of space. I legitimately do want them to survive. I mean, well, I want them to survive until they all die. All right, here's our small moat, otherwise known as imminent death. Now we can take our building here and we can just copy and paste this repeatedly. Look at all this space. There is no way a sim could die with all this. Oh, that's a nice kitchen. Does it come in the blood of the innocent? There we go. Let's start putting a couple of important rooms closer to the middle because I imagine as they start to run out of place to live, you know, these different areas will begin to compact upon one another. All right, put in a couple of studies so all of the sims can read about how f they are. As I put like all these rooms down, I can legitimately feel my CPU start to groan. It's like, you'll pay for this, you bastard. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of curious how many hours it will take to kill all 100 sims well one of them gets to survive in the end if i had to make an educated guess and this education just comes from killing thousands and thousands of sims i would say 72 hours all right now in the middle of every single room there has to be one entity that can last all the way to the end it is effectively the most important structure in any sims life does anyone know what that is I'll give you a hint. It starts with full and ends with liquor bar. Yes, perfect. Put a couple of these tiki ones down there too. All right, just making some real quick extra decorations down here. All right, I am gonna put a door on this house, but you bastards have to go swim over to it. Okay, all that is set. Now all we need is 100 sims. Okay. We're starting off at 12 noon. Yeah, go ahead, everybody. Start enjoying the house. You're gonna wanna get in before I begin extending the pool. Who is the very smartest person here with the receding hairline? Wow. Socks with sandals, a pink and white polo shirt, and an eyeball on his finger. What is your name? This dude's name is Moses? This guy's playing for keeps. Get in there, Moses. All right, the first hour has ended. I'm gonna go ahead and extend the pool. One thing I am gonna do though, just to make sure that everyone is screwed no matter what, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move everyone at least inside of the house and out of this little lot area over here. All right, go ahead and grab the entirety of the whole house and move it all in one square the entire way around. And that means that the ultimate death moat gets one size bigger. Come on, everyone, keep getting inside. This is like the Darwin Awards here, okay? The last people outside are probably gonna end up dying 
first. I told you that this was gonna go quick. I have to increase the size of the pool again now. You can see a few of them have already decided to brave the water. That is a bad idea. I love how Tonsils, as brain damaged as he is, is always interested in everything around him. He's looking at this foot over here and he's like, is that a loaf of bread? No excuse. Who? How? We just started. I love how some people are just treating this like a gigantic pool party. That is a really bad way to approach this scenario. I just heard someone die while I'm extending the pool. I don't know how someone could have died already. Okay, which one of you is the ultimate failure? How is it that my cat with an IQ of three understands that the best way to survive is to be inside the damn house? Okay, now we're starting to get a lot more people. D minus is dying from embarrassment. Jesus, we're not even at four hours. We're like not even at five hours. I love how everyone is so sad, except for this lady. She's like, what a drama queen. Okay, so we've had our first death <laughs> in under five hours. I remember, I think I said 72 would be the maximum amount of time that anyone would survive. Oh, hold on, I have to shrink the house again. All right, sixth hour, house is getting smaller. I'm actually pretty impressed. We've only had one death so far, but I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to die all at once later. What? What is this? What the hell is this? You put that book back where you found it, lady. Don't talk back to me. All right, house gets smaller, pool gets bigger. All right, we're coming up on an hour eight and we've still only had one fatality. Everyone is doing way better than I had previously anticipated. Multiple Sims are swimming right now, which means there's going to be a lot of dead bodies in the next few hours. All right, quite frankly, I'm not gonna have people just chilling out over here. Boom. All right, everything's getting compacted now. I don't care how much it screws up the different assets. I love it, half of the bathroom is just chilling outside. This towel rack is levitating off the ground. I actually had three hours go by so quick that I had to do this three times over. Look at how many people are just barely caught on this tiny little landing pad to get inside the house. How the hell are you feeling flirty? You should be feeling scared. Oh, this is exciting. There's so many people blocking the door that these individuals can't get inside. They're essentially going to kill their brethren. There's no way they can get in. All right, come on, everyone. You can't just stand on the edge there. You got to get inside the pool or inside the house. There you go. Actually, technically, everyone here is about to become very, very screwed because it's time for me to move everything in another square and they're all going to end up falling in. Enjoy your dip in the pool. Okay, we just had someone else die. Don't worry, sir. Come on. You don't have to give up yet. You can still survive. Don't you give in to the hatred and down he goes. What is that on the water? Is that a book just levitating on the water? Oh, whatever. Man, oh God. Increasing the size of the pool is causing all sorts of horrible things. I can't even expand it yet because so many people are dying. I even lost one of the buttons over here. Ah, uh, the old rest in the middle of a hundred puddles of urine trick. Whoa, 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 guys. No, no human centipede going on here. Don't push. <laughs> Look at everyone going up the, the ladder like this, all in sync. All right, if you guys would please stop dying for just like one second, I would finally be able to detract the house because it needs to go in like another three levels. Gotta go three levels. All these bedrooms are going. Oh my God, shrinking the house is such a bad idea. Oh no. <laughs> There's all the people dying. Are you done? Is everyone, is everyone done dying? Can I finish this please? Okay, we're back into it. If anyone wants to cook out here in the middle of the friggin' pool, feel free. Oh no. <laughs> the bodies. Everywhere I go, I have to clean up the bodies of the damned. <laughs> Stefan, you will be missed by approximately nobody. All right, now that I've gotten rid of all the bodies of your friends, I can finally continue to- How the hell did you manage this, young lady? You did well escaping the pool, madam. You know what you can escape? Inevitability. Now I know some people would be like, Gray, surely your challenge couldn't have screwed up the Sims that bad. And to that, I show you this man who is sitting on a couch in a room that is levitating in the air. It is levitating in the air. What is this guy gonna do? 
He, can he leave? I don't know. He'd have to jump out of the room somehow. Hey, finally people are starting to drown to death. Took you long enough. All right, another hour goes by, house gets smaller. I would like to mention that we've only been at this for approximately 23 hours. It hasn't even been a whole day and I'm pretty sure we're down about half. Okay, I'm pretty happy though so far because a lot of very important members of the family are still alive. Florida Man's still in there, LSD's still in there, Fabros is still in there, Colino, Australian Man is still in there. All right, we've got several people drowning to death now, that's excellent. It's really sad when literally Sims are jumping right into the water only to drown immediately. <laughs> yeah, die of embarrassment. That's what you get for not going swimming. Okay, we're getting to the point now where there is not much living space left. Luckily, there's plenty of decor that has refused to accept the will of gravity that all the Sims can enjoy while they slowly swim to their... Resting in the, like, in, like, a little tiny love seat in the middle of the water. What the hell? I mean, I'm gonna give it to her. It works. This is legitimately all that's left now. There's two bars floating in the middle of nowhere with one tiny little area that people could potentially rest in. There are a few individuals that have found out how to sleep on the various little, like, ottomans that are just randomly scattered about the area. And so this is it. Now we will find out who truly has the will to survive? Okay, I'm legitimately impressed. We're going on 48 hours here, and there's still like 50 people left alive. You can see everyone fighting for the few resting places that there are. All these guys are like, hurry up, it's my turn. Uh, excuse me. How the hell are you walking on this other dude's shoulders? What is going on here? Look at this! This guy got like a bowl of cereal out of the friggin' refrigerator. All right, I think that the time has come to finally pretty much get rid of this final area over here. There we go, it's a one by one platform now. Let's see who, ha who has the cojones to survive. You have to live with this urn over here though. This is amazing, it's like my own little sim aquarium. This is amazing, look at how many people are on the little one by one square area. They all have such a diligent will to live. Okay, some of the drownings have now started at this point. Usually where one drowning occurs, more are coming like shortly thereafter. Are you two like having dinner at the table while it's floating in the middle of the water? How? <laughs> Marcio! No! Okay, there's another, there's another death right over there from drowning. Look at all the, look at them all move together. It's like a school of fish. More drowning, more drowning, more drowning, more drowning, more drowning, more drowning, yes! Did someone just fly across my screen? I have glitched out this particular episode so bad at this point. No, Australian man, how can you do this to me? You've left Florida man all alone. Meanwhile, LSD is literally standing on this man's ass. Colino just went down. All right, let me go ahead and clean up these bodies and see how many we've got left. It's 10 o'clock, so 12 more hours. If they manage to survive, I'll be a liar. The Grim Reaper just showed up and he's like, all right, Gray, what do you have? What the hell have you done? Don't ask how, Death. Just get in there and start reaving souls. All right, everyone, hold on, hold on. Don't you all die at once. Bab Ross just died. Although she's already a ghost here, so I don't know if she drowned twice over or what. All right. We're down to about like 25 or so now. I love how they're all just swimming in a pack from body to body to pay their respects. They just get through all these death notifications here. Okay, we've got a couple of people that are asleep on the couches, so they're still alive. Okay, Florida Man is still alive. He's going to the refrigerator to have a delicious bowl of uncooked peas. Okay, this is excellent. The Man family is working together. See right over here, Florida Man is standing on LSD's shoulders. This dude over here is legitimately swimming with a couple of toasts. Well, they did it. They have exceeded my expectations. We're past 12 noon and there's, I was about to say there's like 10 of them, but now there's like nine. Actually, no, there's 15, 14, 13, 12. All right, Stephanie is dead. We are down to the final 10. How the hell is LSD cooking? I, you know what? Sure, why not? That's what you get when you don't go into the water to try and scavenge something to eat. You die of starvation. Tonsils is over here. He's like, you know who's not gonna die of starvation? Me. All right, we've got a few more deaths coming in. That means that there's not many people left at this point. I don't really know how this person died on the top of the water. And then there were six. Let me guess, dying of starvation? Oh, nope, embarrassment. Someone else is drowning to death though. Four left. Florida man. 
drowns to death in the middle of the night. His one regret was that he wasn't beaten to death by an alligator while chugging down some warm Bud Light. Okay, all three contestants right now are living on their own little sofas. Okay, Kian is drowning. That leaves two left, LSD and Kelly Heron. I don't know how long it's been since LSD won anything, but who will finally take this home between these two ladies? They're both just napping like every 10 seconds on their own little sofas. Okay, what's really funny is Spleens is getting taken away by a pet care worker. I don't understand why she's- no, Oh my God. God. I was gonna say she's fine. She's just feasting on this bowl of peas over here. God. <laughs> Run, spleens. Don't let them take you from me. Okay, this lady's got a real problem. She's gonna starve to death in 24 hours, but she's also exhausted. So if she gets in the water to swim, she's going to die. Oh no, she's in the water. This could be the end. Will she be able to get something to eat without dying on the way back? It didn't work. She wasn't able to keep the food. She's trying again. Do it. Just, just eat the 30 day old peas. Just eat them. She's gonna starve to death in 14 hours. What the hell is this? How is she walking on the water? That's cheating. You can't do that. You're gonna grab that bowl of old peas, walk on the water and eat it so you can survive. What a bunch of crap. She did it. This random sim outlasted LSD who finally drowns to death. And that means that Kaylee is the winner. Kaylee? Kelly? Yeah, whatever her name is, it's too annoying. If you made it all the way to the end here, she's gonna be one of our temporary family members from now on because this is an incredible fight that she put up. She lived by nursing a bowl of old rotten peas while sleeping on this levitating sofa. Feel free to put potential names for this girl in the comments section below. And whoever has the most likes, I'll go ahead and make that her name for the next episode. Miss Heron, you did it. She's over here waving. She's like, Mom, I'm coming home. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.